Good morning. Welcome back to Kirkstone. It's a wonderfully sunny day. Uh, as I film this, it's early April, and today we're going to start um, a longish but not very long series revolving around the genus Echeveria. Good morning and welcome back to Kirkstone. I've had another small delivery here which I've just taken out of the in tray. So what do we have in the in tray today? Well, this is from Culture Plants, which is Mario, based in Germany. So I may, may have some faint recollection of what this actually is and it might be pertinent and germane to our overall Crassulaceae specializing at this stage with that uh, North American Echeveria group rather than the South African axis the Crassulas and Adromiscus so this is hopefully something that will be very useful. Oh, what a, what a nest we have. What a nest of bits and pieces. I don't know what you can see there. We have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little packages from Mario. Now, how shall we do this? Well, we'll do it in the way that we normally do it. We'll start with the smallest. In fact, I shall spend a few seconds putting them in some semblance of ad hoc order imposing a nascent structure on the proceedings so these are these are all these are all very small so I'll start with one a little tiny something or other what could it be and then I'll work on through them privately so you don't have to endure the rigors of me well I wasn't wrong so as I as I unwrap the little package a piece of paper has arrived which says quite clearly Echeveria blue elf a famous Dick Wright hybrid so I'm going to have to be very careful and put my blue elf piece of paper down there and then open up this lovely little bijou offering from Mario Schultz trading as cactus culture and there we are a lovely small specimen of Echeveria blue I have here ready a whole swathe of small plant pots just ready for these first small plants like this little blue elf which has arrived from Mario. So just a reminder of where we're up to. We've unboxed from the sturdy container some nine little packages from Mario Schultz trading as cactus culture which I've put into graduated sizes and I'm working from large smallest to largest and the smallest package was this lovely little blue elf Dick Wright hybrid which is from Mario Schultz trading as Cactus Culture on eBay. 
So I'll do maybe one, maybe two more, and then I'll do the rest on my own, so you don't have to watch me doing what is essentially the same task repeatedly. Right, this next one also has a little piece of paper, it's a good little system. Now, this is a little crenulate echeverio, which I'm very interested in, called Painted Frills. So Echeveria Painted Frills. And this is a lovely, nicely coloured, already in the winter, nicely coloured little reddish cultivar. Painted Frills, okay? And we'll do one more, small one. And then we'll take a little break while I continue solo and then I'll get back to you. And this is a intergeneric hybrid between Echeveria and Pachyphytum. Sorry, Graptopetalum and Echeveria. I'll get there in the end when I start concentrating. And this is another really quite well known and very attractive little hybrid called Graptoveria bashful. Okay, so there we are. Graptoveria bashful. What a lovely plant that is. Okay, I'm going to take a break there and I'm going to carry on on my own and then come back to you. And there we are. So we're adding continuously to this uh, little collection of Echeverias uh, and relatives and the odd uh, interloper, like this Hawarthia Grunwaldi. But basically, Echeverias, Pachyvitum, Dudleia, and hybrids between them, Pachyveria, Pachycedum, Sedeveria. I'm sure I've missed one out. But these are the, the ones that we're concentrating on here. So this is the delivery from uh, Mario Schultz, trading as Cactus Culture on eBay. This is the Echeveria Hybrid uh, Red Edge, all uh, potted up nicely. Then there was that uh, Graptopetalum, cultiv Graptopetalum cultivar Amelia Florum, nice fat leaves on that Graptopetalum there. And then there was a, another Graptoveria Hybrid here. This is Bashful. You can see it's blushing nicely there. Graptoveria uh, bashful. And then there was the uh, painted frills, the crenulate or semi crenulate. And also uh, a sedivaria here, which is a cultivar called Blue Elf. And then a well known and very uh, choice species uh, discovered by Alfred Lau. This is Echeveria. Lawii or Lawi, and then we had the Echeveria Black Sirius. Okay, and uh, here we are, the, the morning after, just having a, a quick look over our little Echeveria um, collection, which is, uh, which is a gathering pace and, uh, and building up rather nicely. So we have uh, those new deliveries from our good friend, Mario Schultz, trading as uh, Cactus Culture on eBay UK. And we've also, as I accelerate through the uh, through the ranks, we have also got a 
pair of, a set of, a collection of, labels. So as always it's the same system, I've got the name of the plant and then on the back of the plant I've got Cactus Culture eBay UK January 2020. So when it comes to uh, updating the spreadsheet and more importantly finding things on the spreadsheet I should be able to find them either by date, by the name, by the genus name Echeveria or collection number. So we've got here Graptoveria amethorum. So the first one goes in there. Graptopetalum amethorum. Label and plant. Okay, the next one is Echeveria agavodes black sirius. And black sirius says there on the label is that plant so the label goes in there and that's another one updated label plant and check the next one is Echeveria cuspidata and that's Echeveria cuspidata check label plant and then after that we have the hybrid Sedeveria blue elf and blue elf is this uh, bluish looking plant here and there's the check blue elf on the paper label from Mario and there's Sedeveria blue elf label and indeed plant it be a really really nice plant that one it's, uh, expands a tiny bit. Then we had that uh, super choice species Echeveria which has got that incredible bright blue farinaceous uh, covering. So that's uh, Echeveria lauii. So there we are Echeveria lauii. Label, plant and check. Not many left now. We've got Echeveria Painted frills, painted frills, a multicolored, um, almost variegated, you say, green fading into red. And there's the label, insert the label, and that's Echeveria painted frills labeled. Look at the plant, check one last time. Okay, Graptoveria bashful. That's perhaps a very bashful. No. Label's not straight, I don't know why. Why it's different doing it with my right hand than my left hand, but with my right hand it works. So the Graptovaria bashful. And there indeed is a bashful. And there's one left. And that's this one here. That's Echeveria Red Edge. Red edge, and there is indeed a lovely little red edge at Chimeria. So that is the uh, that is the collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from um, Mario. So that's uh, Echeveria uh, cuspidata. Echeveria agavodes. Echeveria lauii, Echeveria hybrid between sedum and Echeveria blue elf, and then there's that painted frills, semi crenellate Echeveria hybrid, a cultivar would probably be a more appropriate name. And then there's a bashful, nice, nice. I love to see these nicely uh, uh, close-leaved, tight-leaved uh, taxons. Graptoveria bashful, and then there's Graptoveria amthorum. There are two Graptoverias there. And you can see the much thicker leaves. I'm sure in cross section there, which uh, obviously are coming from the Graptopetalum side of the hybridisation. 
and then uh, Echeveria Red Edge. Red Edge. Great, great plants from Mario Schultz trading as Cactus Culture on eBay UK and probably eBay worldwide to be honest, but obviously I, I buy them from eBay UK. And the last uh, lingering glance over some of the more interesting plants in the, the growing Echeveria and Relatives collection here at Kirkstone. And a very nice little uh, Setosa Minor there. Uh, unusual Dudleia, bright white Dudleia, uh, Echeveria lutea, and there's that red trump, that new hybrid that came from Bogglewood and Stones, and a few starting to throw up some flowers. There's Ramelette is throwing up some flowers there, and uh, this bigger, this much bigger Agavoides that came a while back is featured on an earlier video. This large Agavodes is showing up a, a pinkish flower scape right now. Okay, so there we are, Echeverias and their relatives. Growing collection. And uh, there'll be some more very soon. Check back, check back whenever you can. There's always more to see. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Y gordas, chiquillas, viudas, casas.